Well, they are popping up all over our area, but not everyone understands the rules of a roundabout. Those are traffic circles like St. Armand's and the Five Points intersection. Deputies are working to educate drivers new to the concept. SNN Local News 6 reporter Grant Boxleitner joins me now with the lesson. Thanks, Mia. Well, deputies tell me roundabouts require drivers to be alert, slow down, and yield to other drivers. And we spent the day at one of the busiest in the county down in Venice where deputies were enforcing those rules. Take a look. Roundabouts are appearing on roads from Venice to Sarasota, and for drivers not used to them, they can pose some close calls behind the wheel, like this one here on Jacaranda Boulevard. Initially when this opened up, we sat here and I observed at least one collision myself where per day? people per day where people weren't paying attention. Sergeant Darrell Seckendorf was enforcing traffic laws Thursday with other deputies near the Jacaranda roundabout. His advice to drivers is this. Yeah, the signage, especially when you're coming into the roundabout itself, um, nine times out of ten, that traffic coming into the roundabout has to yield to the traffic that's actually in the roundabout. Then, of course, once you're negotiating the roundabout, is to make sure you're in the correct lane to exit the roundabout. And in a two-lane roundabout, the driver on the outside lane has the right-of-way. When you're in a roundabout, you're always going to be making a right-hand turn. When you're ready to get out, make sure you signal in plenty of time look for traffic and come out of the roundabout. And what do drivers think about the roundabouts instead of traffic signals or stop signs? Well, depends on who you ask. And I come from up north and roundabouts didn't work up there and I don't see them working them down here eventually either. Why? Uh, the traffic flow will be too great. People won't be yielding for one another. I've seen it in action. I like it. I think they work real well. We have an experience in Spain. We have a lot of roundabouts in Europe and I think they work real well here different opinions there, Mia. So. That's, that's right. Now, Grant, we've talked about some of the bigger ones that are out there, but we've had a few newer ones pop up here, right? Especially on Honoré Avenue, that big project between Fruitville and Bee Ridge Road. There that's are six right. of them there, and I know that Honoré is going beyond, and they said that that was the best way to keep the traffic moving. Um, some neighbors there were kind of surprised that they put them in, but uh, we'll just have to see what happens see next. See what happens. All right. Thanks, Grant.